Welcome. Now, a lot of you have had questions regarding what age your book is from. So I'm here to set the record straight once and for all. This is the semi-definitive waffle guide to the age of comic books. 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 <laughs> I have constructed a timeline with my puppet mind. Don't mind the fuzz. Or whatever that is. Or that. Or, yeah, actually, yeah, don't pay attention to that. Just that, to help you track the timeline more accurately, well, at least in your mind, I have provided samples of comic books from history to help me anchor these memories to your subconscious. Instantly making you and anyone around you more comic conversant. What? It's a word. Look it up. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There were two periods before modern day comic books. In these ages, illustrated images and comic strips were the only forms of art bought on a piece of paper on a regular basis, but no comic books. These periods were called the Victorian Age, followed by the Platinum Age, and although today we do not collect those types of items because of their scarcity, we can move forward to where it all began for this modern day craze. So the first period on the comic book timeline is called the Golden Age, extending from 1938 until 1954. Which, by the way, was the same year the Comics Code was introduced, which presented a stringent set of guidelines made to keep comic creators and writers of the time in line with the norms of their day. <laughs> Boring. In this period, we see the rise of two future giants, National Allied Publications, later becoming Detective Comics Inc. or DC in the new millennium, and Timely Comics, later rebranding to Alice Comics, then Marvel Comics. Both giants came out of the gate swinging and brought with them the Golden Age, the top three most sought after future heroes, giving us the first appearance of Superman in Action Comics 1, Batman in Detective Comics number 27, Wonder Woman in All Star Comics number 8, Captain America in Captain America Comics number 1, The Submariner, which first appeared in Motion Pictures Funny Weekly number 1, and The Human Torch, The Android in Marvel Comics number 1, before his name was repurposed by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby for the Johnny Storm of the Fantastic Four. <sighs> This period is followed by the Silver Age, which begins in 1956 up to the early 1970s. First mentioned in the Justice League of America Volume 1, Number 42, in a JLA mailroom column which consisted of a Dear Editor letter, there is a mentioning for the first time of an H reference. Technically, this is the first official publication with this reference, making it the chronological first appearance of the Silver Age title. Dear Editor, great! Magnificent! Superb! And anything else you might care to add? What am I talking about? Crisis on Earth A! That's what? Nothing has equaled it, and I don't think anything else will. If you guys keep bringing back the heroes from the Golden Age, people 20 years from now will be calling this decade the Silver 60s. Scott Taylor, Westport, Connecticut. This period saw the first appearance of Barry Allen Flash 2 in Showcase number 4, Justice League and the Brave and the Bold number 28, Teen Titans and the Brave and the Bold number 54, Fantastic Four and the Fantastic Four number 1, The Hulk and the Incredible Hulk number 1, and Spider-Man and Amazing Fantasy number 15. The Bronze Age follows immediately and spans from 1970 to 1985. This period saw the first appearance of Darkseid and Superman's ex-pal New Jimmy Olsen 134, Ra's al Ghul and Batman 232, Morbius the Living Vampire and Amazing Spider-Man 101, Conan and Conan the Barbarian number 1, Ghost Rider and Marvel Spotlight number 5, X-Men in the Giant Size X-Men number 1! <sighs> Why are they so long? And here we've arrived at the end of the timeline with the modern age. But not so fast. This era has actually begun to branch off. Three schools of thought exist here, with very different timelines of their own. The first school of thought are those who would consider the original timeline to be gold, silver, bronze, copper, then modern. The second school of thought are those who consider the copper timeline to be false, and the real timeline to be gold, silver, bronze, modern. And yet a third school of thought believes the real timeline to be gold, silver, bronze, dark ages, modern, and postmodern. Let's take a closer look at these three new ages and break down what makes them a unique point of view to consider when choosing a branch of thought. In this new branch, the dark age begins in 1985 and ends in 2004. 
In this age, we saw the rise of the anti-hero archetype. We saw first appearances by Jason Todd, Red Hood, and Batman 408, Harley Quinn and Batman Adventures number 12, Raw Shack and Watchmen number 1, Venom and the Amazing Spider-Man 300, Deadpool and New Mutants 98, Cable and New Mutants 87. In the new branch, we also see a new goalpost for the modern age, from 2005 up through 2010. In this age, we see a wave of new characters appear. Miss Martian and Teen Titans Volume 3, Number 37, Blue Beetle, Jamie Ray as Infinite Crisis Number 3, Amadeus Cho and Amazing Fantasy Volume 2, Number 15, Winter Soldier and Captain America Volume 5, Number 1, Stardust and Starbreaker, The Saga, Beta Ray Bill Number 1, and Iron Lad and Young Avengers Number 1. <sighs> oh my god. Finally, we reach the end of the branch with the postmodern age, starting in 2011 up to current time. In this age, we see the death of the Comics Code, which, as you know, was established at the end of the Golden Age. And with the tyranny that was the Comics Code, dead and buried, a new wave of heroes began to emerge. Okay, last one. <laughs> heroes and heroines like Batwings, Davis, and Vimbe, and Batman Incorporated number 5, Powerhouse, Naomi, McDuffie, and Naomi number 1, Kick, Quick, Jess, Chambers, DC's Very Merry, Multiverse number 1, Miles Morales, Ultimate Fallout 4, Miss America, and Vengeance number 1, Ironheart, and Invisible Iron Man volume 2 number 10! <sighs> this concludes this episode of Waffle Guide Through the Comic Book Ages. And if you want to chat live with me or any of my friends, check out the details below this video for instructions on how you can do that. Until next time, keep spreading much comic love.